wanted to provide an update on the information I had provided on the Hermes Light 2 when I originally posted it for the Coffee and Ham Radio's $1,000 uh, challenge, uh, Ham Shack challenge. What I did uh, was I asked on Facebook in the uh, HL uh, Hermes Light 2 group uh, to kind of give me a better idea of what the differences were between the Hermes Light 2 and the Apache Labs Hermes. And uh, I got this very good, very detailed reply. Uh, and I wanted to share it with you. Also give uh, credit to Lou who provided it, uh, that uh, uh, he actually even calls out another operator. So hopefully this will help some people to understand what the differences are between the two boards. Um, so first of all, the HL2 is a newer design, but based on an older version one of the Open HP SDR network protocol. That is true. I I have noticed uh, the newer versions of some of the software, uh, specifically uh, Thetis. If you go to the Apache Labs Thetis, uh, it has a very distinct uh, uh, protocol two uh, update that uh, is not supported by the Hermes. Uh, the, the, the Hermes Light 2. Um, I believe it is for the Hermes board, but um, that's uh, uh, something I'll find out later. Uh, Apache Labs has a 14-bit ADC in the, versus the 12-bit ADC on the uh, HL2, uh, meaning that the Apache board has higher dynamic range. Uh, the Apache board covers from 6 to 160 meter. I think I put that in the, uh, in the video. Uh, the HL2 only covers from 10 to 160. Um, so you're not going to have that uh, VHF coverage on the 6 meter band on the Hermes. Uh, or the Hermes Light 2, sorry. Um, I, don't, uh, I don't think that's a big deal. Um, uh, if you do, I mean, again, there are some great radios out there, including the 891, uh, where that would not be the case. Uh, the Apache Labs has an eight-layer PCB versus a four-layer PCB. Um, that's, you know, neither here nor there. I get there. Uh, I've, I've been in this business uh, or in the business of electronics for quite a while. Uh, there is a difference between an eight-layer and a four-layer board, uh, but um, I don't think in uh, this type of radio that it makes a huge difference, but it's definitely worth noting. Uh, the HL2 has a power amplifier on board, uh, which it does. The Apache Lab does not, and that is one of the things I do not think I mentioned. Uh, the Apache Lab's Hermes is about a 500 milliwatt out. Um, so it does not have the capability of running, um, uh, of putting out a lot of power, even for an amplifier. Uh, however, like I said, there's that $199 add-on board for the Apache uh, that uh, will produce up to 10 watts out, which is uh, more than adequate for most of the smaller amplifiers. Um, for my uh, Mercury 3S, I imagine I could get out uh, anywhere from 4 to 500 watts with that, uh, which is quite significant. Um, but again, um, with uh, 10 watts out, that's not a bad uh, output for, uh, for a radio. The Hermes uh, with the N280R filter board will give you about uh, 5 watts out. Uh, again, uh, uh, running it into that amplifier, you can get about 30 to 35 amps. Uh, there's some good reviews from Kevin Laughlin uh, that, uh, on that uh, amplifier. Um, one thing to note on the amplifier is it does not require any modifications to the amplifier in order to make it work because the keying on the uh, Hermes is dead simple and it doesn't have the complications that the, uh, uh, the, the uh, 705 does. So uh, if you see any videos about modifying it for use on the 705, that's not necessary for the Hermes. Um, and uh, he mentions that uh, he's not quite sure, uh, but he said it seems like the Apache board only supports two receiver slices, while the HL2 supports four. And he says, I believe that's actually not true. Um, the HL2 with modified firmware can go up to 11 slices. 
Now, when you do that, you only get receive only. Um, and it is a firmware upgrade to the chip. However, from what I understand, I've never done it because I tend to run the HL2 with the built-in firmware that I originally got. I never upgraded, never went to any new firmware. Um, although it's uh, uh, understandably quite easy, um, you can go in and uh, update the firmware and go to a pure SDR and in the pure SDR mode I know uh, a friend of mine has run this before uh, for 11 slices and then he went back and uh, took it back to a transmitting radio so anyway uh, yeah it's it's quite a uh, the, the firmware available on the Her Hermes light 2 is uh, quite extensive there's there's a number of different ones uh, the Apache board has a user configurable digital and analog inputs, four configurable 12-bit uh, analog inputs for ALC, SWR, etc. Three user configurable digital inputs uh, for linear amplifier over temperature, etc. Uh, I squared C bus uh, for control of external equipment. Almost none of those are on the HL2 board. And that is true. Um, I have not needed any of those things, but there are certain amplifiers that uh, uh, require additional uh, uh, types of, dig of outputs and uh, need to be able to do band switching and all that kind of stuff uh, via a connector on the back of the equipment, which uh, I believe the, uh, the Hermes board from Apache Labs has. And um, almost none, none of those, yeah, see number six above. Yeah, so um, what he's talking about is uh, the connection for the, the amplifier. Um, I did look into, by the way, what's going to be required of me when I get the amplifier board from uh, Apache Labs. And there is quite a bit of uh, work that I'm going to have to do with the soldering iron, etc., to... Uh, uh, solder some some cables and some things on like that onto the uh, Hermes board in order to connect in the amplifier but I'm gonna do it uh, it's again it, for me this is uh, 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 a an experimental thing I want to see uh, uh, kind of have a, an ability to compare the two and uh, uh, per perhaps on my channel here I would uh, be able to bring y'all um, that kind of uh, 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 a review or a comparison because uh, I think it would be uh, a deal. I, again, uh, the Hermes Light 2 is a fantastic radio. Um, they're still making them. Um, uh, it seems like uh, Maker Fabs is going to continue to make them and make them available to the amateur community. Um, they're very reasonable priced radios, yet they rank up their uh, with some of the top uh, outstanding receivers up there in um, uh, in power and in uh, capability, so uh, you know again, I, I encourage you if you can take a look at the radio. Um, if you're willing to experiment with something, take a uh, and uh, uh, go in and have that experience of a fun radio. Um, the, like I said, one of the nice things about the radio is it is not a kit build. It comes to you fully assembled. Um, uh, as far as the radio goes, the only thing you're doing is sliding a little uh, connector between two boards and uh, making a small hole in the case for a, uh, a shim to carry the heat away from the uh, power amplifier. So uh, uh, it's really, uh, it, it, you're, you're not you're not doing anything complex or anything great kit you're going to get a radio that works one that uh, uh, I've had many hours of fun with and I hope you do too anyway um, this is Don N5SKT uh, 73 everybody